two minute anaesthesia, decontamination of equipment. Anaesthetic equipment is an important vector for transmission of disease, therefore precautions should be put in to prevent transmission between patients and between patients and healthcare staff. This is an example of a service cycle for anaesthetic equipment. It starts at the CSSD. This is a centralised department designed to reprocess reusable medical equipment. Within this is three important steps, cleaning, disinfection and sterilisation. These will be discussed later. The sporting classification is a worldwide strategy for sterilisation and disinfection of objects and services based on the degree of risk to the patient. There's three different groups, non-critical. So these items come into contact with the skin. For example, the blood pressure cuff from require cleaning, semi-critical. These come in contact with mucous membranes, i.e. endoscope, and require high level disinfection. Critical. These pass through mucous membranes, i.e. surgical equipment, and require sterilization. Key terms, decontamination, removal of microbial contamination, includes cleaning, disinfection, and or sterilization. Cleaning, removal of macroscopic material used at low temperatures of 35 degrees. This can be manually or mechanically, i.e. ultrasonic. Disinfection destroys organisms and not spores, while sterilisation destroys organisms including spores. Disinfection, as we discussed, kills organisms but not spores. It includes pasteurisation and chemical. Pasteurisation is using hot water at 70 degrees C over 20 minutes or chemical measures, for example, chlorhexidine, alcohol and glutaldehyde. As we've discussed, sterilisation also removes spores. This can be done in one of three ways, by water, so dry heat, in a hot oven at 160 degrees over two hours, steam via autoclaving at 120 degrees C over 30 minutes, radiation with gamma radiation or chemical ways including hydrogen peroxide, ethylene oxide and ozone. The factors affecting the efficiency of sterilisation include the cleaning of the object, the organic load, the concentration exposure time of the stolent, the nature of the object, and the temperature and the relative humidity. It's essential to be sure that sterilisation is complete prior to using the equipment on the patient. Therefore, we can use physical, chemical and biological measures to ensure this. Physical, by adequate time, pressure and temperature measurement during the process, the use of chemical sensitive inks, and bacillus spores that directly measure sterilisation. There's a range of key labels for sterility and autoclaving. After the decontamination process is complete, the item should be stored in a well-ventilated, temperature-controlled, moisture-compensated room. And these are two additional key logos which you should know. Reusable endoscopes are based as semi-critical on the Spalding classification. They can harbour Pseudomonas clevsiella mycobacter and therefore should undergo cleaning and disinfection. Cleaning by external surface washing with detergent, internal channel brushing and removal and cleaning of all parts, followed by disinfection with glutaldehyde.